For the first time, chronic wasting disease has been detected in Idaho. Idaho Fish and Game says two mule deer have tested positive for this devastating disease. Hunters harvested the bucks in the Slate Creek drainage near Lucille in central Idaho last month. As we reported earlier this year, experts say CWD is fatal to deer, elk, moose, and caribou. A pathogen that uh, is a severe neurologic degradation. So we start to see issues with brain lesions. So your neural system, so between your spinal column or your brain, starts to look like Swiss cheese. CWD has been identified in parts of the West for decades, including Wyoming and Montana, but never in Idaho. Wildlife officials warn about its possible impact on deer and elk populations. We are very concerned in other states across the U.S. It's actually reduced their populations quite a bit. Uh, Wyoming, which is a similar hunt model to ours, in white-tailed deer, they've had 21% drop in their herds. In elk, they've seen 13% drop in their herd. Officials are asking hunters to help them contain the disease by being mindful of how they dispose of animal carcasses, especially the brain and spinal column. Hunters who travel across state lines are prohibited from bringing whole carcasses from any place that has CWD into Idaho. But Idaho Fish and Game says all inedible portions of an animal harvest should always be double bagged, securely tied, and disposed of in a garbage can for collection. And anyone hunting in Unit 14 is urged to get their harvested deer or elk tested. They need to extract lymph node tissue from the animal's head to do that. Meat or muscle tissue won't work.